So we're going to a customer's house that has a failed sewage ejector. I'm excited I get to use a new product from Santa Flow. It's supposed to be easier on installation. And it's supposed to save us time. Really excited to get to use it. Hi there. Hi, good morning. How are you? I'm doing well, how are you? Good, other than I'm a little frustrated with the problem in the basement. Here you're having another problem with your sewage ejector. Uh, again. Let me show you where it is. Here it is. So what I'm going to do today is take out your failed sewage ejector and put in a new Santa pit system, which will do you wonders. Fantastic. So what we're going to do first is we're going to pull the inspection cover to verify what's wrong with the pump. And there we see that the float has failed. So the next step, we'll verify that the float has failed. We'll plug this in. All right, the float switch has failed. Now we will plug the pump in pump is working. So our next step is to turn this valve off and then start taking it apart. Okay, let's get another bag ready for the pump and the duct tape. So in a lot of installations, we have the discharge pipe that sticks out quite far. We do have to trim this back some just to make sure that there is maximum gap for discharge. So here's how much I had to cut out. When you take it out of the package, you can see the grinder blade here and the three pressure tubes for the floats. We don't want to put pressure on these and risk breaking any of it. So always keep the unit on its side when you're taking the lid off. And inside you will find the switch box, the alarm, the two fittings, one with the check, and then your bands. So with this insert, it does have 16 holes around the outside, so you can use it to conform pretty much any configuration. But with this pit, I'm using eight of the bolts because that's all this pit has, and it makes it quite secure. Slipping this collar back on, I just have to put these two screws in this plate, and then I can put the lid on, and then start piping it in. Now I'm ready for the lid. This is a multi-purpose fitting with many of the Santa Flow products. So we need to cut this top off. Take your knife along this groove. You can take this top right off. Okay. And then this goes on the vent side. Get our bands ready. Cut this off. And I can slide this one in. So we got the top band tightened. Now I'm gonna tighten the lower band. Now I'm going to connect this pipe to that pipe. This fitting has a check in it, and it also has an arrow on the side for direction of flow. Check valve goes on the discharge side. And just check this in here. Now I'm doing the lower band. I just have to adjust now for that right there. Santa Flow likes 45s. That's it. Now all I have to do is start mounting that box. The alarm box. On the tube for the pressure switch, we don't want any loops from the pit lid to the control box. If there's condensation in there, it will not work properly. So straight from the pit lid to the control box, make your cut. Slide it on the end. So on the cables, there is a brown end and a black end. There are corresponding spots on the bottom of the control box. Plug them in accordingly. They are one directional, so you have to make sure that they're in the right way. 
and then it click into place. So take the protective end off the alarm cable, plug it into the alarm, and then plug in the unit. Power's on. Open up the valve and test. Installation is, I'd say a solid nine out of 10. The best thing about this system was dropping it in and bolting it down. Installation was a breeze. Now we're gonna check on serviceability. Take the lid off. So now we're gonna run the pump to clear the pit. Unplugging the unit. Going to unplug the alarm, silence the alarm. Now we're ready to cut these. The reason we're cutting all of these is we're going to slide as much cable as we need back through the grommet so we can pull the pump out. I can take the screws out for the pump. Close the valve. Now I'm going to pull the motor. Now I can disconnect the wiring. So we just have to line up brown to brown, blue to blue, white to white, and then green to yellow green. So serviceability, we can make sure the blades are clean. We can make sure the discharge is clear. If they are clogged, we can easily unclog it, make sure our electrical is tight. There is a slot down there for the discharge tube to go in, so make sure you get this lined up. So it goes down, installation, reverse of removal. That's it. For future service, you can leave that cable in there, and all you have to do is tighten this down out here. The added benefits of the system are it does not have a mechanical float switch that typically fails on these units. This has three pressure tubes, so we don't have to worry about mechanics or linkages or anything like that failing. This has three sensors in it. How often are they going to fail? Not very often. They're not submerged as opposed to a typical float switch. To check the pressure tubes and the sensors for the float, we're going to disconnect the carbon filter. And as we did with the pump, we're going to give some slack on this other cable so we can pull it out of the pit. On the pressure housing, you want to take the lower set. Now we can pull the unit. We can check our tubes to make sure they're clear. And we can get at our sensors. Pull this off and you can get to your sensors from under here. After you fix whatever sensor you need to fix, put the cover back on, put your screws back in, put your electrical cover back on, tighten the band down, reinstall it, Handle back in and reinstall your outer screws. Now you're going to tighten down this cable to leave that cable in the pit for future service. Then you're going to pull your clear tube back out, plug it back into the unit, plug the alarm back in, open up the valve, and test. As opposed to a traditional sewage ejector, I would recommend this product 10 out of 10 times for ease of installation. It cuts down on time, bolt it up, bolt it down, hang it on the wall, plug it in, you're done. It was a breeze. I'm so glad these issues are finally gonna be over for us. We kept having to have the plumber come out. Now he's installed the Santa pit for us. It's just such a relief to know that we won't have to deal with that stink and the mess anymore. Dominic, thank you so, so much. I'm so glad to have that problem fixed. That's gonna be great. No problem. I All hope right. you enjoy your new system. Thank you. 
Have a good right. day. Thanks, you too. Bye-bye.